French President Emmanuel Macron and his wife Brigitte are a beautiful couple. They tenderly hold hands and look like loving spouses. However, they had to go through many trials and tribulations before getting married. It seemed that the whole world was against this love because of their big age gap. They met at first when he was just 15, and she was 39. He was a student, and she was his teacher. How did this love story get started? How did they overcome all obstacles to be together? And how did Brigitte, an ordinary teacher, become the first lady of France? Keep watching to find out. Before we continue make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin. Back in 1993, in the small French town of Amiens, schoolchildren from the drama class of Madame Orsière played on stage. The audience was delighted. At the end of the performance, the young actors went up on the platform with their teacher for the final bow. One of the actors and an excellent student, Emmanuel Macron, approached the teacher and kissed her on the cheek. She didn't mind because it looked so innocent. Madame Orsière was a married 40-year-old woman and mother of three kids. And Emmanuel was an ordinary 16-year-old guy. Nobody thought that they could be connected. But in the small town of Amiens, rumors spread quickly. Soon everyone in the school was talking about the fact that the student and the teacher spend a lot of time together. Too much time. And soon everyone will find out the truth about this forbidden love. However, at first, the communication between the teacher and the student did not arouse any suspicions in anyone. She was the wife of a respected man in the city and mom of three. Brigitte was born into a wealthy family that owned a chocolate business in Amiens, and had everything she wanted. At 21 she married banker André Louis Orsier, with whom she had two daughters and a son. She did not need money and could devote herself to her family and children. But such a life was too boring for her. That is why she became a teacher. At the private Catholic school La Providence, she taught French, Latin, and also led a drama class. It was there that Brigitte first met Emmanuel Macron, a 15-year-old boy who was an honor student with a particular talent for writing. An interesting fact is that Brigitte's eldest daughter Lauren studied in the same class as Macron. The boy's parents thought that he was in love with this girl, because he spent a lot of time with her. But when they found out the truth, they would be shocked. At school, Brigitte immediately drew attention to Emmanuel. He was gifted and talented, wrote beautiful poems and plays. She knew that one day he would achieve great success. Once Emmanuel entered her drama class and asked to work with him individually on a new play. Brigitte couldn't refuse. They were so happy together. However, until now, no one knows what exactly happened between the teacher and the student in individual lessons in the drama class. Many years later, Brigitte will say in an interview with reporters, nobody will ever know at what moment our story became a love story. That belongs to us. That is our secret. One thing cannot be denied, even then they had strong feelings. And at some point they could no longer hide their love affair from others. The young guy was madly in love with a married woman and dreamed of being only with her. Brigitte most likely understood that with this young man they had no future. Therefore, she probably treated this relationship as a fleeting affair. After all, she was not going to get a divorce and tell her husband the truth. At 40, she understood that family and obligations were more important than feelings. Therefore, when the boy's parents found out about this affair and took their son to Paris away from the object of his forbidden love, Bridget took it calmly. And even then, before leaving, Emmanuel said to her, I will come back and marry you. Brigitte hardly took it seriously. After this incident, she remained married for several years. People in Amiens criticized her severely. No one believed that her strange love could have a continuation. But only Emmanuel always knew that he had found the woman of his life. And he was ready to fight for her. Formally, they did nothing illegal. Because the age of consent in France is 15. But public opinion could not support these relations. A 16-year-old student and a 40-year-old married teacher. Such relationships usually do not lead to anything good. But this love story was an exception. Even in Paris, the young student could not forget his beloved woman. He called Brigitte almost every day and talked to her for a long time on the phone. She was surprised by his persistence and one day gave up. After some time, they began to secretly meet in Paris under various pretexts. 
their relationship grew closer every year. This led to the fact that in 2006, Brigitte eventually divorced her husband. Her children by that time were already adults and independent, so they did not need her care. She was finally able to live as she likes, regardless of prejudice. Emmanuel fulfilled his promise and proposed to marry again. She did not want at first, as she was afraid that Emmanuel, who was 25 years younger, might want children. And she couldn't give it to him because of her age. But when he explained that it was not important for him, she agreed. A year later after divorce, she became Macron's wife. He was 30 at the time and she 54. It was a quiet celebration in the family circle. And finally, after almost 13 years of secret dating, they were able to openly declare to the world that they love each other. However, this couple has to deal with misunderstanding all their lives. When Macron became president, political opponents and journalists constantly invented fake stories about them. For example, Macron was once said to be allegedly gay. And about Brigitte, they once said that she was a man and changed her gender. But it's hard to believe, looking at how the spouses treat each other tenderly. Macron hit back at critics, saying, nobody would call it unusual if the age difference was reversed. People find it difficult to accept something that is sincere and unique. Despite the flow of hatred, this couple was able to maintain their love. And now millions of people adore them. Macron became president of France, perhaps largely thanks to his wife, who always believed in him and supported his idea to enter politics. After all, as you know, behind every great man is a great woman. Brigitte became the first lady of France and now helps her husband in everything. Every day, hundreds of letters to the Elysee Palace come to her name. Many women admire her courage and self-confidence. Brigitte showed that even at over 60 women can wear short skirts and trendy tight-fitting outfits. She inspired women to be desirable and attractive at any age. Because she lives without noticing prejudices and public opinion. Brigitte devotes her life entirely to the career of her husband. And he relies on her every word. Macron can't spend an hour and a half without calling her and talking to her. This couple is one of the most controversial in the world. They also don't have any children together. However, the main thing is that they love each other. We don't have a classic family, that's an undeniable reality. There is no less love in our family, said Emmanuel Macron. As long as we're together, everything will be fine. We were very lucky to stumble upon each other. Our bond came to be from the first day on, like it was self-evident. People don't understand, because society is about individualism, said Brigitte. And what do you think about this couple? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts with me, to click like and to subscribe. See you next time.